Hello guys, I'm John and Super, and welcome back to another unboxing video. This time we got the original Dr. Mario on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I just picked this up at my local disc replay, and they were fools to give this to me. Because this is, I mean, it was sealed, but I took the seal off, alright? Uh, it was $8, and it's in mint condition. It's still sealed from the 19, I think, what, what year did this come out? Fucking actually. Uh... I have no fucking idea, actually. Hold on. Still sealed from 1990. Uh, but yeah, they gave it to me for $8. My local disc replay, which I thought was fucking insane. They also had a copy of Tetris and Tetris 2, but I decided not to pick it up as I already have both of them on the N on the uh, NES Classic, like the, like the hacked one. But, uh, I mean, I also have this one too, but those games are just okay, I guess. And plus they wanted about 15 and the other one was like 30, I think, the Tetris 2. So, yeah, uh, I didn't want to spend all my money on that. But I bought Dr. Mario because Dr. Mario is a very fun game. But uh, yeah, it, had, it comes with a little, comes with a little cardboard box, still in mint condition. I took the little ceiling thing off. It's put in my trash can. Um, yeah, I know. I took the seal off. Fuck off. I know I'm a collector too. God damn it! But I'm, I'm gonna play the games that I buy. Uh, but yeah, there's a little back and stuff that says, "It's Dr. Mario." For an intense new challenge, Mario throws multicolored vitamin capsules into a bottle that contains an ugly variety of nasty viruses. You can move, shift, or spin in the capsules as they fall. Arrange them to align with other capsules on top of the virus. You can get four or more of the same color in a row. Poof! They disappear. Destroy all the viruses in the bottle and progress to the next round, where things get even more difficult. Play alone or enjoy a simultaneous two-player action. Dr. Mario with germs are the fun to catch. Or that are fun to catch. Fuck, whatever. About your CRT blurry ass screenshots behind. Yeah. I, uh, I've actually, this is the first time I've actually ever, uh, seen one of these, like, actually in the box or whatever. I thought I had one when I bought this over here. I, I bought Hogan's Alley and I thought it was in its original box and stuff, but I realized that it was a fan. Hold on, my thing's on focus as hell. Uh, it was a fan box. It's like, it's like a, for, I mean, people who are watching this probably. I probably don't own any of these anymore if they ever owned them, but they look like VHS tapes, like uh, the cases and stuff to them. You know, they have like the little like cross thing in it too. But that's how I got my Hogan's Alley and stuff. So I thought that that was the first thing, but I had never actually seen a boxed NES game until I walked in there today and found Tetris, Tetris 2, and Dr. Mario. Um, but yeah, I picked it up in an instant. And the funny thing is too is that they had like a thousand copies of GTA 3, which I thought was insane because I was looking at them on eBay and shit, and they weren't all that expensive to give a game with and shit. But they were selling them for like a couple dollars. It was weird. But yeah, let's open this up. I have not looked inside yet. Well, I have seen. I have like taken a peek to make sure the game was in there because sometimes they, you know they did that shit by accident. But I haven't seen anything that's in there. I saw. I think I paid a paper or some shit. Like they like they think that's the instruction manual or some shit. So let's get this shit open. If I can get it open. Okay, there we go. So the contents include... Fuck my life. <laughs> the contents include... Dr. Mario and its original sleeve. And a little casing thing. Fuck, I can't... It's very hard to do this with one hand, you know? If you if you ever watch any of my other unboxing videos, I do this. This is like a common theme. Get the fuck out of... Get out. Please. I beg of you, get out of the sleeve! Hey, come on! There you go. You got that son of a bitch is another sleeve. Get out! I want you out! Get out! Get out of the sleeve! Do it! Oh my god. Please. Oh my god. This is so hard to do with one hand. That's why I don't do very many unboxing videos to begin with. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of stuff to unbox all the time, but I mean, like. You know what I mean? Son of a bitch! Alright. Just got the cartridge, standard. This is actually insane too because I can, you can tell this shit's been sealed this entire time because one, the box is in perfect condition, but second, the, the, like this is even in perfect condition shit. There's like some little dings and shit that's really hard to see, you know? Like you can still see it in like the reflection of the monitor and stuff. There's some dings and shit. Which I mean, it's, it's expected because it's a box from the fucking 1990. But this has been like not used at all. Like this is perfect. There's not a single scratch, scrape, anything on this cartridge at all. Not even a speck of fucking dust, man. It's perfect. Like there is nothing wrong with this. Like they they look like dust right there, but that's a fucking serial number if it will fucking focus. Yeah. This is this is perfect, exactly. So I'll put that back down and see what else is in this bitch. Fuck off. Ah So there's also some other stuff inside of it. 
some uh, some styrofoam thing there. I don't know why they did that, but they did. All right. So first off, you got the instruction booklet. Uh, that's pretty small and shit. This is okay. You can read that on your own time if you want to. You can read all this on your own time if you want to, or you can just look it up on Google. I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't there. Oh fuck! I've actually never seen this artwork before. Peach is giving you the I'm gonna kill you in your sleep eyes. Look at that shit. Oh my god. But uh, it says, my name is Dr. Mario. I thought your name was Mario, but okay. Didn't know Dr. was your first name, Mario. Did you just go by the last name? <laughs> Wait, is that <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> okay. Control their functions. And, uh, got how to start the game and shit. And virus level and speed. It's just, it's just your standard Dr. Mario. This shit, this is falling apart. Oh, that sucks. I mean, it's still there, but, like, the staple is gone. Uh, but yeah, it just tells you how to do all the virus shit. It tells you how to play the game, which if you've ever played Dr. Mario, then you already know. It's like one of the easiest games to fucking learn, like I swear. I mean, other than the original Mario Brothers, that and Dr. Mario are probably the easiest games to learn, you know? But it tells you how to get like the two-player game and stuff. Warning, do not use with with front or rear production TV. Do not use a front or rear production TV with your NES system. Uh, your particular TVs may cause permanent damage if video games are stationary, seen through patterns that are... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's telling you about, um, don't, don't uh, make it, like, burn into the screen. Which, I mean, I guess would be helpful for, like, those little, like, like the tiny little box, uh, TV over there. But I have other ones, so... I don't need to do that shit. But yeah, there's, that's the instruction booklet. I'm put it with the, with the, uh, cartridge. Uh, what else is here? Alright, there's, uh, danger. Do not open, it says. Oh shit! No! Ah! Not kidding. Uh, it says, you are ready to become a power animal. Nintendo power brings out the beast in me. That is horrible advertisement, but okay. Sharpen your claws on hot tips like this for Super Mario Brothers 3. The game that came out, I think, a year before this. Earn a ton of one-ups in the abandoned forest of World 7 in Super Mario Bros. 3. Find and activate the switch block, then collect as many coins as you can and enter the bottom door where the magic wears off. Step inside the room with the checkerboard floor, then go back into the room with the switch block, activate the switch block, and protect the coins again. Repeat the process until you collected enough coins to earn a 99 one-ups. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, it's a little catalog thing for uh, Nintendo Power Magazine, which no longer exists. It's now just a podcast. Uh, it just tells you what it's all about i think yeah and it just gives you a little fucking mega man 2 screenshot over here i actually have another one of these things uh it came with uh my mario 3 fucking uh little koopa troopa mcdonald's toy thing it had one of these little catalogs with it too but it wasn't this it wasn't this fucking 90s 80s-esque bullshit though like the other one just had like plain aerial font this has fucking your eyes are gonna go blind from fucking swiss jams and keyboard and there's also this in here. I think, what the hell is this? Is this another fucking independent power thing? Oh, it's a lot higher quality. Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. Is this a fucking poster? Holy shit, it is. Oh, that's fucking sick. It's like a poster from the 1990s. No fucking way. It has all the NES games on it. Now you're playing with power. Oh, that's fucking awesome! I'm gonna put that on my door, uh, right next to my, uh, my other two uh, NES and SNES posters and shit. These came out with the uh, mini consoles and stuff, and it's right next to my Smash Bros and all that stuff. Oh, fuck yeah! An actual poster from the 90s, though. Like, this is not, like, one of, like, the newer kind of posters or, like, a rebrand thing. No, this is an actual poster from the 90s. Now we're gonna test the cartridge out. I'll put it in my trusty dusty. Oh, excuse me. This is a little spoiler thing for a. <clears throat> yeah, you can't can't have that over there. Uh, but we got to put it in our trusty dusty Nintendo Entertainment System to tell all the ways to headphones with your classic little hat line and everything on the front. I fucking love retro game consoles. In case you couldn't tell, you gotta blow into it. Of course, I I know you're not supposed to actually blow into them. It ruins the cartridges and shit. But my uh my NES it, it works. You know, it's annoying as fuck because it's not supposed to work, but it somehow works. I gotta turn the TV on first though. So I gotta blow into it. Hold on. <sighs> Trusty Dusty, motherfucker. I gotta put. Go in there. Hold on, goddamn. Our, uh, our, uh, our NES. We're gonna turn that on. Hell yeah! Motherfucker, motherfucker, piece of shit. 
Motherfucking son of a bitch. You can go suck it. Oh my god. What the fuck happened? Oh wow. <laughs> what the <laughs> What the fuck? Oh shit. What the hell was that? I was getting a controller and it just went ape shit. <laughs> okay. Noted. Surely noted, okay. It's so messed up. Hit reset. I'm playing with one hand, but it's not going to be that hard because it's, well, it's Dr. Mario. But yeah, it seems to work well. Uh, if you've ever played Dr. Mario, then you know how fun this game actually can be. I just realized I need another hand for this shit. God damn it. Fuck yeah, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck you. I, this is really hard to play with one hand and hold a, like a camera at the same time. Yeah, fuck you, you red bitch. I'm not going for the blue bitch. Get anybody, bitch. Fuck you, blue bitch. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, no, no, wrong button. Fuck me. Oh, shit. Fuck. No, no. Yes. No. This is so fucking hard to play <laughs> with one fucking hand. Look how I'm holding this shit. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. Fuck you, you little cunt ass bitch. I know where you live, motherfucker. You live in my console. I know where you live, bitch. I know where your mama lives. I know where your father lives. That's a threat, motherfucker. Anyways, but my Dr. Mario review is that it's a, it's a, it's a 9 out of 10 game. Uh, it's the only reason I didn't, didn't give it a 10 out of 10 is because, well, I mean, it does have its fuck up sometimes. Plus, the game isn't all that, like... It gets, it's repetitive after like a certain amount of time. I mean, it gets, it gets harder later on and shit, which is good. But at one point, it like clocks out a hard harder to get, and it just gets annoying as fuck. So, but yeah, it's it's, a, it's an amazing game. Uh, thank you to the screenplay by my house for getting this shit for stupid goddamn cheap. You guys are fucking idiots, and goodbye. Subscribe if you like more videos and shit. Also, comment down below if you enjoy Dr. Mario and uh, you're also depressed. All right, goodbye.